you're not a nerd, hello sports freaks. Sports fans. It's your host Lucia Lockie here, live and in living colour on YouTube from the post credit show. Don't forget to like, follow and subscribe and today we've got something a little bit unusual. You know it baby. Because apparently, apparently in this multicultural, multi whatever the hell it is world that we live in, sport is now considered to be pop culture as well at times. So um, we've got a huge sporting event coming up here in Australia at the moment, in particular for the uh, the good old New South Wales and Queensland yeah, mate. sports followers. What's it called, Lockie? Mate, it's the biggest rivalry in Australian sport, and we're talking none other than State of, versus, or, oh. State of Origin, <laughs> baby, or Collingwood versus Carlton. But for this episode, <laughs> State of Origin. So 30 years have passed since Beetson and Radonik has led their sides into battle to ignite this marvellous and iconic Australian sports spectacle that we call mate against mate and state against state and origin is underway for 2010. Game one in Sydney. Can the blues. Go the Maroons. Oh God, he's one of those. So yes, I well, am. Well, ladies North and gentlemen, that, that that does explain some of the illiteracies that you might have picked up over the last 25 episodes. Yeah, we're a bit behind <laughs> in Queensland, but uh, Is that the state where they don't do daylight savings because it keeps the cows up and oh, it, it bleaches no. the curtains? Don't even go there. <laughs> <laughs> But no, we thought it'd be a good idea to chuck out an episode on one of the biggest sporting events our country has to offer. Uh, so to start off, Lush, I want to name the teams and I want to get your thoughts on this. So the New start Sa- with the Queenslanders. This I was going to start with the Blues because um, well, well, no, no, winners always come last. Well, we've won the last two, so yeah, well, you're only as good as your last game. Oh uh, well. So <laughs> Queensland have done something a little bit left fieldy, and I'm not a fan. I don't like it. Um, we'll get to that. He doesn't that. like it, ladies. I don't, I don't like, like it. it. All right, so Pauline Hanson. We're going to start off with our, our, our back five. We've got Reese Walsh, Gunn, Xavier Coates, Val Holmes, Hamaso Tabawai Fado, Murray Tuolagi. Now, Murray Tuolagi would not even make the Sharks, the Sharks team at the moment. He is that out of form. Don't know why the hell they've picked him. Tom Dearden's in at six because Munster is injured long term, so he's missing the whole series. Uh, we've got our captain, Daly Cherry Evans. Yep. Um, yep. And our forwards are Ruben Cotter, Ben Hunt, Lindsay Collins, Jaden Sue, Jeremiah Nanai, Patrick Harrigan. Now, on paper, that's a very, very good team. Mine, bar the Murray to a luggy. I don't rate him one bit. Now, look, for a little bit of context, Lockie and I both go for the same club football team. Ah, uh, yes, we do. Uh, so we're uh, both Cronulla Sharks fans, yes, the greatest sporting team in the history of the world. Hello, yeah. Sam Shinazi. Hey. Um, but in this particular series, we are very, very opposed. We certainly are. So just going to finish off the Queensland team. Harry Grant, Mo Fodawaka, Jermaine Hopgood, and Selwyn Cobbo. But also the reason why I bought the fact that we go for Cronulla it also explains the reason why I when you said Daily Cherry Evans yeah, because manly. I go for two teams Cronulla and Cronulla. Oh my God, he doesn't even know this Cronulla and whoever's going whoever's playing oh, whoever's manly. playing manly you yeah. absolute <laughs> flog. Oh God, <laughs> what I can't understand though, Lush, with this team, the Queensland bench, we have picked a hooker, a winger. And two middles on the bench. Did Freddie Fitler sign up Mate, to be your I coach this year? I have no <laughs> freaking clue as to why you are carrying a hooker and a winger slash centre on the bench. Mate, David Fafida is in one of the most informed second rowers in the game at the moment. The last month of footy, he's been outstanding. He's not even in the squad of 20. Um, I can't wrap my head around this. Now, the only hope that I'm giving is they've got Felice Cafusi named at 18th man. I am hoping that we see a late change, that he actually plays in the 17 and maybe Selwyn Cobbo drops to 18th man or Murray Tuolaga gets dropped from the side completely and Cobbo goes to the wing. Now, I'm told that there is potentially some sort of a, a conspiracy theory about the David Fafita thing and how he backflipped on a contract yes. deal that he made yep. and that that kind of put a few people, ruffled a few feathers um, at the at the top of the... Yeah, not north of the border because he plays for the Titans, so no one up there really gives a shit. So all this would be coming from Sydney. <laughs> yeah, who knows? Who knows? But it's interesting. But I mean, isn't mm. isn't your isn't your coach like the great Billy Slater? He is the great Billy Slater. So there must have been someone else up there going hmm. <sighs> to not be in the squad. I mean, it's a shock because they've got Brendan Piacora in there and the nineteenth man, and he's done nothing this year that 
screams any warrant of playing Origin. Um, and then, yeah, they've got Felice Cafusi, who's an old-timer, tough as nails. He needs to find his way onto that bench because I think coming up against your team, I'm going to run through that now, you guys have some serious size and power. Now, you blokes have got James Tedesco. Now, you were mentioning earlier, so <sighs> Dylan Edwards was originally um, named in the one. Mm-hmm. Now... You Poor got, son of my bitch. Mate, you got to feel for him. He has forced his selection by playing, what, five years of... The best t- fullback in the game. For, for the last three years, I want to I say that he's the best. Easily. And one of the humblest players on the, on the field You never as well. hear a bad word said about yeah, him. He's never in the media. He's just a clean skin, honest toiler, good footballer. Seems like a pretty good bloke. I thought you said honest toilet there for a moment. I'm like, what's an honest toilet? Yeah, well, no, I didn't say that. <laughs> Um, but now you've got him injured. So James Tedesco, who was dumped from captaincy, dumped from the squad completely. So does that mean Jake Trebojevic is not the captain anymore? Well, it's saying right here that he's still named as captain. Now, I don't think you can go back on that, surely. No, surely You not. would not do that. Well, see, here's the problem, right? So for, <laughs> support Dylan Edwards, who's absolutely worked his d- off to get to this position. <laughs> and, and if Tedesco has a blinder, how does he Dylan doesn't. Edwards get back in? He doesn't. He misses out another year. Oh, that's just that's just cooked. Uh, yep, but yeah, groin problem, groin no, injury. No, Hammy I've heard. apparently was it his Hammy? I yeah, thought it was his yeah, yeah, yeah. So Hammy's, I mean, he could probably get away with. He might be able to come back for game two. I thought it was a groin, so I was going to say if it's your groin injury, you're, you're potentially out for about well, that's four what, to that's, six that's weeks. Cameron Munster's problem. Well, he's he's out for ten. Yeah, um, but that's a recurring injury. For yeah, memory. he's been injured all year. He's yeah. just been he's been put he's been um playing through the pain. Um, you know, kudos to him. But look, unfortunately, on on the note of, of of hammy injuries though, that also brings into question the number seven. Yes, yeah, so I'll get there. So we've got James Tedesco. You've got Brian Toto, absolute right. gun, absolute legend. Uh, Stephen Crichton. Now this one's a bit left field because this guy's signed to play Union next yeah. year. Joseph Suwalei. Now he's on the plane to. He's on the plane. He's on the move. To rugby union next year. <laughs> I wonder if he's playing for the Melbourne Rebels. Well, he certainly isn't. <laughs> what a <laughs> code, right? They are. Bo- they've got four teams left in Australia. <laughs> hey Nathan, if you're listening, I loved your comment the other day. Well, sh- all thirty of their fans are going to be upset. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they've all uh, they've all jumped ship to the storm. Um, but this is a strange one because, as I said before, he signed to play union this year uh, next year. I wouldn't have picked him. I wouldn't have picked him either on that basis. But at the same time, New South Wales has been crying out for years when Freddie Fittler was our coach, been crying out for years to pick on form. And the guy has been one of the form back rowers in the comp. Back rowers? He played. Uh, you know what I'm talking about. My God. Five backs. Top top backs. Yes. So anyway, you got to s- stop thinking of these footy players on their back, mate. Calm down. <laughs> Um, so, yeah, you've got Joseph Swaley in at centre. Now, you've got Zach Lomax coming in, for, coming in off the wing. Yeah, I... Would you have picked him? No. Or would you have gone the... Fo- oh, no, the Fox is injured. Sorry. Mm. Who would you have picked on the wing? Because Lomax did start the season well. He had a solid first four, six games. But the last couple of weeks, he's kind of fallen off a cliff a bit. Um, so... Strange one for me. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. There's there's been a few there's been a few other um, wingers that have been potentially yeah. considered. Well, Daniel Tupo, he's been he was considered. Um, the the Fox may have been in there prior to. I, I think he actually got injured after the squad was announced. So yeah. I might renege on that comment. But I mean, you've got a f- you've got some you've got some great f- great backs. See you any Katoa? No, no, he no. can't. He can't. He's not. No, nah, he is he? wouldn't get picked for Origin anyway. There's way too many in front of him. Um, the rumour was at the start, though, they were trying to fit Tedesco and Edwards in. Edwards was actually looking at playing wing, but... See, I don't like the idea of putting people in positions that they don't no. play at the club level. No, I agree. I agree. You get found out too easy. Yeah. Uh, just, look at, just look at the uh, origin last year in Adelaide Oval with Nico Hines playing oh. 12, 13 minutes that as, was, as a centre. That was disgusting how yeah, they man. blamed that loss on him. Yeah, Seriously. Man. Um, so, yeah, you got Jerome Blue White six, and our main man, Nico Hines, from the Sharks, is Ayo. number seven. Now, he's carried a groin injury the past few weeks. He's passed his fitness test along with Liam Martin to, uh, yesterday. Yep. He's all but locked in. Sweet now, Nico Hines. <laughs> that's, da, da, da. that's not bad. <laughs> I stole that from Sharkcast. <laughs> oh, well done, lads. I don't mind that at all. Um, while we're on the topic of Nico, right, against the Panthers, pressure game. Went completely missing in that first 40. 
There's always been chat that he is not mentally strong. When the team starts to fall apart, he doesn't seem to have it in him to be able to lift and get through. All I want to say about Nico, because I don't want to get into the habit of bagging players not out, bag- especially our not own ba- players. Not but bagging him. I know, I know, I know, I know. But what I want to say is this. what My concern about putting him in origin at this point, mm-hmm. after what happened last year and about his most recent performance, is yes. if he has a bad game for origin, yep. that's our season over. And he won't play again. Yeah, because Mitchell Moses came back last week and, and tore the Cronulla Sharks to pieces. He didn't even use lube. He just shredded us. Uh, so you've got a new captain in Jake Travojevic, who was a bit left field. I thought that yeah, was that gonna... was an odd one. Yeah, didn't see that coming. Uh, you've got Reese Robson at hooker, Payne Haas, Liam Martin, Angus Crichton. Now, if he wasn't picked, I'm I I hate the Blues. You know that. But if he wasn't picked, I would have been pretty upset because he has been the form player of the year, mm. especially in the back row. Now, here's one that we are very, very pleased to announce. Hardest working player in the game. If this bloke was a Queenslander, he would have played 10 Origins by now, hands down. And that's our skipper, Cameron McInnes. Mate, this is a long time coming. There is no other player in the NRL that deserves this opportunity more than our boy Cam. So, Cam, as a Sharks fan, I love you. I'm proud of you. As a Maroons fan, I hope you don't really do well. (laughs) Yeah, and enjoy that 50k bonus too that uh, the uh, the get for making origin. Go buy yourself another boat. Um, Isaiah Yo's he's going to need a bigger boat. He's going to need a bigger <laughs> boat, boy. Isaiah Yo's on the bench now. I thought he would have been named captain. Obviously, didn't happen, but he's been named VC. You can't really have a captain on the bench. Well, though. that's why they probably would have switched him with McInnes. So McInnes is thoroughly in that 13. I can't pronounce this bloke's name. Hamoli Olukawatu. Olukawatu. Spencer Lenu and Hudson Young. Now, this is what I was saying earlier about the Queensland bench. This is what really worries me. You've got Isaiah Yo, who's, what, 195 centimetres, 105, 108. You've got Ola Kawatu, who looks like he's just walk- he's, he's, he's come out of a bloody box. Of the f- he's a fridge. He's a fridge on legs. You've got Spencer Lenu, who is just the most angriest little man. that. Um, and then you've got Hudson Young. Now, Hudson Young and Spencer, they're going to come on and give it an absolute... Sm- they're going to smack... The- they're going to belt the forwards. They are tough as nails, along with Ola Kawatu. Their opposition on the bench is a winger slash centre and a hooker. But don't forget, you've also got Matt Burton. Yeah, Matt Burton's 18th <laughs> man. Now, there is rumours that he might shift in to replace uh, Hudson Young. Yeah, right. Um, but I know they say you need a... Ca- you need a- you need to have a backup for Origin, but Queensland's already gone in on the defensive, and that's by already picking a winger. I believe you would have, you should have picked a forward that has the that has the ability to potentially cover centre, and that's David Fafita. David Fafita would have been my potential utility on the bench. You've got Harry Grant there as well. Don't forget. On the flip side, New South Wales, they've gone with four forwards, with no there is no one on that bench that can play in the backs. But I like their attitude. I am a Queenslander through and through, but this game's going to go to the wire. New South Wales by 12. I honestly, I don't... <sighs> Queensland are the, the, we're the, we're the greatest... We're the, the, um, we're the best escape artists uh, in the world. I don't know how we're going to get out of this one, and that is just purely on the bench that we've named. I, it's too small. There's no size. I think the New South Wales forwards are just going to come out and bash us. Tip it. Um, I'm going to go Queensland by one point. Of course you are. Daly Cherry Evans field goal. Ugh. It's a close game. It's seven. It's eight oh five Wednesday. So that's a bit. Uh, so we'll get to watch home and away before the. Uh, oh my Before God. the state of origin. Um, now you've got a new coach as well, Michael McGuire. Did you hear what he did at the start of the week? Smashed his head into a, yep. a roof thing and <laughs> cut himself. Mate, that's just that's just showing the boys how to to take one for the team. What? He's leading by example. I reckon. Uh, I reckon Cam. McKinnon. Did they pull out the stapler and film uh, having his head stapled? Re- they do that every origin. I, now, I reckon. Don't they? I reckon Cam McKinnis. Cam McKinnis voluntarily hit the hit that hit his head on the roof as well just to fit in. <laughs> um, one thing that's really impressed me by the Blues, and I'm spending a lot more time talking about the Blues today, but they're doing a lot right. You guys had um, at the start of the week. You went into the. You went into camp. You brought back. I think it was over. 32 or 34 former players to a dinner. You brought them all in to the room and they or each each player sat with a former player. And that's what Queensland's been doing for the last 20 years. 
They've really embraced the origin. They've embraced that culture, the pride in the jersey. I think the Blues now were finally starting to figure it out because the Freddie, Freddie guy, Freddie put you blokes backwards by you know years and years. Spectacular and years. player, atrocious coach. He's probably the worst besides Laurie Daly. I mean, those two coaches just mate. You hear him in the media; they're it's pretty ordinary to listen to. Michael Maguire hasn't even coached a New South Wales and game yet, and he's already being spoken about as potentially Parramatta's future coach. So, so word is that he will be applying for the job. He did mm. sign a two-year deal with the Blues. I don't like that. I think if you're going to be the Blues coach, you should be exclusively the Blues coach. Well, he won't be the Blues coach. If he starts with Parra, yeah. then that's it. They'll have to go looking for a new one. I get it. Michael Maguire is an NRL coach. Mm. Yes, he had a bit of a bad run at the Tigers, but seriously, mate, Wayne Bennett or Craig Bellamy, they couldn't even have fixed that mess that that, that current board has put that club into. So uh, we'll finish it off. Uh, I'm going Queensland by one. You're going New South Wales by 12. Mm -hmm. um, it's going to be a good game. It's a great time of year, and you will see Lush and Lockie at game two, baby, in Melbourne. Whoop, 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 whoop. Wait, hold on. I've got one of those things. Where is it? Where is it? It's... Wait, that's not the one. That's not the one. Oh, okay. All right, bye-bye. <laughs> finish it up. <laughs> All right. Well, that's been a little bit different. I hope you guys have, I don't know, enjoyed that. You've enjoyed I, I kinda, this. I kind of liked it. I took it. I pretty much spoke the whole time. Yeah, it was about time you did something. That's right. <laughs> I, I, I contributed. <laughs> <laughs> He's dropped his pen, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to have to cut production so we can pick his pen yeah, up. Holy no, shit. Keep going. Let's get through. <laughs> well, look, um, we're pretty excited about State of Origin, so hopefully I'll get this episode out in time so that we're not talking about it before the game, <laughs> but releasing the episode after the game. Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. Um, but until uh, until next time, uh, I will see you on the other side when New South Wales are one and nil. Um, I uh, I yeah, that's 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 it. Up I, the Maroons. Boo. Uh, go the Blues. Boo. What 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 sound do the cockroaches make? I don't know. Say out of your mum for me. Bye-bye. <laughs>